The defenders of the Ruby Life Shrine are stretched thin, repelling primalist attacks. Please, lend them your aid. Oh, who's coming to talk to me? Where are you? Oh, I just watched some fucking ally get nuked. Serves it. I have to go back to fucking Armor. <laughs> I came to Veldraken without having uh, done the quest here. Oh, I am glad you are here. Be careful of me. Okay, man, I don't have a quest here either. But I'm still just chilling. Yeah, I'm really only worried about doing like the main story shit because it actually haunts different shit. I'm Bro, not gonna do all the side quests like I do on my. Uh, Man. Death Knight. Bro, why is this goblin bald? He's a Chad. It's a female goblin. She's a Chad. <laughs> <laughs> she's bald, she has a monocle. And then she's got some fucking skimpy chain mail. With one shoulder pad. And a red baby murloc on her back. Don't question it. Oh, I'm gonna go do that quest. I do a cataloger raft quest and I get a fucking massive eye level upgrade. Nice. I love having world quests on alts as soon as you Part get Part of the joy of exploring is documenting our finds. It's There's definitely nice. There's plenty to document here in the waking yeah. shores. Sanctum Gloom Charger. That shows. No hey, one. good shot. I broke up some growth, what do I do? <laughs> oh god, that's too funny. And the funny thing is, is, there's people out there that'll take it seriously too. Oh yeah. You know, it was just like a 4chan shit post and now it's copy pasta. I haven't seen that in a while. The, the OG Jurassic Parks or Anastasia? I haven't seen Anastasia in fucking years. I actually want to watch that movie. Too. In the dark of the night, they will kill. Have you heard of the rumor recently? Have you heard of the rumor in the streets? A Roman author is still alive. Oh shit. Instead of singing, Paul Agro, bro. <laughs> That flash fire shit hurts. Old animated musicals are really good, true. That was like the golden era of like fucking animation too, like the early to late 90s. There's so much mm -hmm. good shit that came out time. I know it's uh, technically like not related, but it kind of is because you're fucking talking about Anastasia and Rasputin. But uh, fucking the epic rap battle in history. Stalin versus Rasputin. Fucking Rasputin sings his little bit and then Stalin's just like, Look into my eyes, you pervert witch. <laughs> Your false queen cannot stop oh, us. Shit. We are right, the dragon. Are we gonna scuff this bird? Yes. Hunchback, Lion King, etc. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many other ways from there. Ooh, fucking ate that.
Night's Tale. Yeah, I, I saw that movie. I will have to what do I remember from it? No, honestly, you know what it was? I don't. I think it came after Shrek. And like a um, what did they pull? They pulled like a a modern um, hip hop twist to a medieval period drama. Because if you watch a Night's Tale, like a wobby outfit, they're actually modern. Like yeah. uh, I think the main well, character. The, the stuff, music is like Queen. Like they have like We Will Rock You and stuff in there. It, no, and also the acting. A lot of times, yeah. uh, they'll say like they'll fucking slang or um, they'll like do modern references. So it was like an experimental movie because it's like, or you can do a period drama with like old accents, but they they, uh, they did a twist to it. You know, you know what's another like really modern. good one is fucking. Uh, you ever seen the Black Knight? Uh, that's like oh, in the 90s, right? I can't remember the actor's name, but it's um, it's basically like a modern version of like the old English story right. of Black Knight. But uh, uh, I think it was Eddie Murphy. Was it? No, I don't think it was Eddie Murphy. I thought it was the other dude with the mustache. The other dude with the mustache. But um, yeah, he's like at a Renaissance fair, and then he falls off into the water and gets teleported back in time and becomes the Black Knight. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I, I saw that. Um, I don't think that was back then. Though. It was supposed to be a comedy movie, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was also like a comedy, modern, like Y2K twist to a um, yeah. period drama. Because like in the 90s, people don't realize like how many Martin really Martin. high quality period dramas come from the 90s. In the Martin 90s, Lawrence. like... Was Buddy's name. Oh yeah, yeah, Martin Lawrence, yeah. Hold the secret to the yeah, the, ni the 90s and like early 2000s really was like a fucking gold age in that respect. For sure, it was like animation, no, animation, and that's honestly on. Because if you think of like the society and the zeitgeist of the 90s, you wouldn't assume like quality things being pumped out. Because there was also a lot of trash in the 90s, like, uh, yeah. just like trash subcultures, and trash things being, you know, like the forefront. Yeah. I don't really understand. Maybe it was last like breath of... Well, I think a lot of it was like, like the, the zeitgeist was very like, raw America. Because they just won the Cold War. But you know, in the eighties, a lot of British, like British movies, no, sorry, not British movies, British um, movie industry made a lot of um, Indian-focused movies in the eighties because they, it, there was some sort of like nostalgia or some sort of like oh, air, something in the air, buddy. Yeah, especially in the eighties, Gandhi came out like a bunch of like very famous. Uh, British movies that take place in India came out, and I feel like the 90s... For national security reasons. So they're, they're really trying to sue him for something that he's legally not allowed to do. But the, the entire thing is just to make it inconvenient for him, right, because he's a political opponent. I don't know, I think it's like, I think that he's literally one of the boys. Um, like, his uh, son is like a, a transformer. Which is like a, a, a huge pale, pale sign of, uh, well, the thing, he, of like being so intelligent. also not allowed to talk to that kid because the mother took him away. But no, yeah, but I, I heard that like Transformer kids are huge in like intelligent families uh, because um, well, there's also like this theory that Transformers, uh, especially like the majority of them, it has to do with like uh, being exposed to certain technology. Like uh, chemicals, like being exposed to some chemical as a kid, uh, turns a lot of kids into transformers and a lot of, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Alex Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, you have, like, a family yeah, member that's, you know. Oh, it's called, like, Asperson or whatever. Yeah, they're, like, these kids are exposed to some of these chemicals, like, slightly these chemicals. Yeah, because uh, yeah, what's fast? And that's why... What's interesting about that? Oh, fuck. Haha, <laughs> 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 that was all me. <laughs> But, uh, what's it called, what, Tesla? I mean, not Tesla, Elon. Um, the other thing is he's South African with, like, family ties in the in the government. And he went to Ohio. And Ohio is also, I heard, is another red flag when it comes to people. Like, a lot of uh, intelligence people and a lot of, what is it called, uh, like, uh, so whatever, uh, come from Ohio. And I know that sounds like a meme, but it's actually not. Well, I mean, it's, it's like, Ohio is kind of like a center. It's like the third or fourth most populous state, so... Ohio? Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. That's right. 
Fuck, I think I made a mistake here. Or yeah, maybe I, Illinois. I, I, I like the Midwest is pretty densely populated. Like that area is uh, been controlled by the United States and it's like made for watershed. Well, I thought it was Ohio super rural. Like, there are no big cities except like towns. Like, you have these cities in Ohio, of course, but they're not like Chicago or there's no actual huge city. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's true, but the thing is, it's, it's like um, it, it's still like densely populated in a sense because it's like it's a major watershed, right? like with the the Great Lakes going into Mississippi and stuff there. Um, so I, I, like a, a good area to like, compare it to would be like, you know, the Rhine in Germany or something like that, where it's like, you like a rural area in like, the Rhine in Germany. It's still densely populated. It's not like a rural, rural, it's like semi Yeah. The, uh, will be mine. Have you seen Snowpiercer? Uh, I don't even think I've heard of that. I don't watch like many movies Seriously. at all. That's perfect for the miniature reactor movies. That was funny. I like the theory that fucking Snowpiercer is just a fucking continuation of uh, Willy Wonka. <laughs> and fucking the dude who fucking oh runs the whole Snowpiercer snow thing is the kid from fucking Willy Wonka that inherits the factory. Yeah, I think I've heard of that theory, but, uh... And I, I, I've... One of the goofiest theories I've ever heard is fucking Paul McCartney died in a car accident in, like, 1964. Goofiest oh. theory. But you hear the theory that Ag Agra Levine is, uh, like, uh, replaced. Like, the one that Agra Levine now that. is, like... That's basically yeah. what the, uh, Paul McCartney theory is. Is like, people are saying that Paul McCartney died in, like, 1964 in a car accident. And he got replaced with a Scottish look-alike double. Man. That Michael Jackson is actually on Epstein's Island right now. <laughs> The 1960s One Direction that is the Beatles. He's also there chilling with Tupac, don't you know? Yeah. Oh, Tupac, baby. Yeah. I know. I'm like, <laughs> like sometimes like 70 okay. year old like actors that look like they're like 30. It's kind of freaky. Yeah, it's just living a stress-free life. You've been super rich. Fucking true, your entire life, not to worry about anything. What are you stressful? Like a producer, like a blackmailing you? Like, I would assume, like, that. I mean, the producer is looking at this shit. Look at Steven Spielberg. But the actors, I mean, the actor, you're basically just coddled your entire life. They, they always look crazy. I would assume it's like Hollywood's a crazy, special environment. Things being lewd, blackmail, threatening, a whole bunch of, you know what I mean? Like, a whole soap opera is going on behind that people don't know about. Nah, I mean, like, L.A. in general is pretty fucked up, but, like, if you're, um, you're one of those rich Uber celebrities that lives in, like, a gay community, you never have to deal with that. I don't want to come off as, like, schizophrenic, but, uh, I also heard a theory that, uh, Will Smith was paid by the Oscars to punch that dude, and that that dude was on in on, in on it, too, just to, like,
This area is rich with the scent of magic. Really? There must be something useful in this dratted book. Why title yourself Secrets of Aberrations if all you present is common knowledge? Ugh! Syndragosa. It can't be. Watch VeggieTales? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen VeggieTales in years, though. I used to watch it all the time at church, like, as a kid. We had Sunday school. They would always throw VeggieTales on. How can I help? Together, we can achieve anything. Oh, like reaction to it? Yeah, no, it'll probably be copyright. No tears, my dear. Unfortunately, I can't do anything that's like um, life was full mainstream life media type stuff. You know what I mean? Not like official media by like major corporations. It so is much of it's copyright. To, you to lead the Azure Wing now. You cannot go. I am not ready. <laughs> we rarely are. My dear Star Knight, carry my lessons close to your heart, and I will never be far from you. This world is full of wonder. Together, it hey, is hard a blue to believe he's really gone. What? Oh my god. I hate when it does that. <laughs> world quest areas are so annoying. So you go in and out of them and it always fucking just a, a little bit which messes you up on this point. Hey, we still got the bronze. We're good. For an adventure.
The Isles welcome you.